It's late and I gotta head to bed soon because I've got an early start tomorrow, but first, I gotta open this. So, I haven't used laptops in probably six, seven years, whenever I got my first iPad. Everything I'd used a laptop for up until that point, suddenly I could do everything on a tablet. So, a few years ago, this became my most regularly used portable device, an ASUS Google Nexus 7. And then a couple of years ago, I bought this, which is my ASUS Transformer Book, which it's not really a laptop, it's a two-in-one. You can run basic photo editing and video editing applications on it, but you know, you can't really do Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro and After Effects and all the really demanding stuff. So now, I have a laptop again. Mostly because I find myself in situations where I regularly need to work on location. I've got people all the time asking me, John, come visit, come shoot, come do this, come do that. And I can't because I'm tied to the desktop in order to do stuff for DIY photography, to process shoots, to edit these videos. This means I'll be able to go out and do all those other things and still be able to work. So, if I can find my knife, so there's only one piece of tape holding the whole thing closed. Ooh. The ZenBook Pro, as you can see right there, this is the ZenBook Pro. Super thin, super light, but decent enough spec that I can do all my photo editing, all my video editing, I can do all the stuff with DIY photography, and everything else, or most everything else, I use my desktop for. There we go. Oh. I'm gonna need to get a laptop back. Actually, no I'm not, I've got like 300 photography backpacks and other cases that have laptop slots, but oh, this is nice. Wow, this is super slim. Blue and metallic. Oh look, it's got the same swirly thing as my phone, but a different color. So we have the laptop, warranty card, a user guide. We'll keep the user guide just in case. We have, oh, okay, a Velcro cable tie for this, I guess. This is the power supply, it's bigger than I thought. We have a power cable for the power supply, there's nothing else in there. We've got a Velcro cable tie here. So that's everything. We'll get that over there and that over there. Put the box out of the way, unwrap this. And then we'll stick it on charge. I've actually had the ZenBook Pro for a few days now, so I've had the chance to install some software and have a bit of a play with it. It's not as powerful as my desktop, obviously, but it'll still do most of the tasks for which I need a laptop. As far as running Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, it's pretty responsive while I'm editing, and worst case, I can always edit on here, and then when I get home, transfer it to the desktop to do the heavy lifting. I know that over the coming weeks, I'll find things that I've forgotten to install, but I think I've gotten just about most of what I need. We've got the Adobe Suite, DaVinci Resolve, Luminar 2018, OBS, Dropbox, and a bunch of other things that I use on a regular basis. I've also installed the software for this. This is the new Wacom Intuos with Bluetooth. I wanna see if I can use it as a mouse or trackpad replacement for general daily use. When I'm at home, I only really use it on Photoshop and I can plug it into a USB cable and use it on the desktop, it's there whenever I need it. But then when I wanna go out the door, I can just grab the laptop, unplug the Wacom, and away we go. As a mouse tends to not work too well on grass, I think this will be much better. I do still need to sort out some external storage for use with this. Inside, there's a half terabyte M.2 SSD, which is really, really fast, but I know that I'm gonna need more storage once I get a few projects on the go that I need to edit. I do have a GTEC G Drive EV8EC, and for the last couple of years, this has been great for storage and backup, but it's a little bit thick and clunky to be taking out with this now. And, and I'd really like to start moving away from mechanical drives on location if possible. I also have an old SSD that I picked up a couple of years ago in a sale and stuck in a generic USB 3 case as a working drive on the desktop. 
you know, this way, when I'm editing videos, I can just transfer the whole project to here, work off it, edit it on here, render it out. When it's done, transfer it back to the hard drive. It's a lot quicker than editing directly off the drive when you're trying to scrub through footage, especially if you're doing multicam or you've got two or three layers of B-roll that you need to deal with. But the problem with this is that it's small, it's only like 128 gig, and even though it's faster than hard drives, it's not quite as fast as some of the other SSD options that are available today. So I'm gonna have a look and, and see what else I can get. Anyway, now I've gotta go get this and a whole bunch of other stuff charged up and packed, ready for a shoot tomorrow. Paul's coming to pick me up at stupid o'clock and then we've got like a three hour drive. But I'm gonna be doing a bunch of mobile workflow content on how I use all this stuff on location. And that's gonna be coming up here on YouTube as well as DIYphotography.net. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and you can keep up to date on that. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the ZenBook Pro or any of the other gear you see in my videos, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.